안녕하세요 여러분 테리 스토입니다 This is a very special video guys because I have two surprises for you guys One is that we have a special guest that you will meet later and the second one is that we're doing a surprise giveaway for all Filipino K-pop fans out there and what's unique about the giveaway is that one lucky subscriber will win one album and one light stick of his or her choice and thankfully our Chingbu from this store called Soul Hole will look for the album and the light stick that our winner will choose so if you want to join the giveaway you have to watch the video until the end to know how to join the giveaway so what are we really gonna talk about in this video and why did I invite someone else to join us in this video it's because we're gonna talk about the differences of different cultures in Korea and here in the Philippines. So I invited this Korean host and YouTuber named Kyung Min Kim who is currently residing here in the Philippines. So I'm really so excited to meet him. He's been doing this Korean 200 Facebook lives every I think he has a schedule. I will put the schedule in the description box but there he has this Korean 200 series in his Facebook page. So go to his Facebook page Kyung Min Kim to know more about this series. Ayun na nag-message na si Kyung Min at mas-start na kami sa live namin. Wait. Zoom. Ayan, I introduced Kyung Min Kim a while ago and now he's here with me already. Wow, thank Hi. you. Wait, do you wanna know? You wanna introduce yourself first? Ah, okay, sure. Um Kyung Min ako po ang isang pamban sa mundo sa Pilipinas. Ako po ay si Kyung Min Kim and thank you for having me here, Therese. Yes. Siguro may mga na ano na bigla na Kyung Min is really speaking Tagalog. So, oh my! Yeah, naka Tagalog nga siya. <laughs> Di ba you have this series, Korean Tuhan, in Facebook? Yes, meron akong uh, yeah. live show sa Facebook page ko every mm -hmm. Saturday. May live show siya. And every every time, hindi ka naman nagko-Korean doon, di ba? Hindi. <laughs> naka Tagalog ka doon sa live niyo yun. <laughs> Halos um, mix, collaboration ng Korean, Tagalog, and English. Ah, so, kung mga, yung mga Filipino, they are welcome to join the live every time. Yes, tama-tama. Uh, gusto ko maging next riot bang sa Pilipinas. So... Oh, wow, <laughs> yes. Kaya yan. <laughs> Kaya yan. Okay. Junior ni Ryan ba? <laughs> yes, sana. Kasi sinabi ko na sa kanila kanina what we're gonna talk about in this video. Yes. So, I'm gonna sh shortly introduce it again yung topic natin today. Dere. Today, we're gonna talk about my experiences and your experiences in the Philippines and in Korea. So, ah. uh, we're gonna differentiate the culture of Korea and the Philippines. I I think I saw you do something related to this in your YouTube account. Ah, yes. Meron akong video na um, culture shock ko, tapos yung karanasan ko sa Pilipinas. Ah, uh -uh, yes. I watched it then. I was sitting there. Ay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, before anything else, ano, medyo inano ko, inayos ko na yung topics na talagang sunod-sunod na at related lahat para naman hindi din nakaka-boring na panoorin yung magkukantuhan lang po kasi talaga kami ni Kyung Min sa video na to. So, yun, pagkukantuhan lang namin yung mga experiences namin. At yes. pag titignan naman kung what, they, what really differs sa mga experience na. Yung una nating pag-uusapan is yung bumping into strangers. I ah. heard this a lot before I went to Korea. And parang hindi ko naman siya na-observe dito sa mga Korean friends dito sa Philippines. Okay. Pero kasi when I was in Korea, talaga bang normal lang na pag when you bump into strangers, hindi na nagsisorry, ganon? Ah! Uh. Parang... <laughs> Kasi dito, di ba, if you're here in the Philippines and you bump into someone, magagalit sa'yo pag yung parang natamaan mo, tapos di ka nagsuri. It's like a promise already na I'll say sorry already. It's it's like mm -hmm. most Koreans would understand if we don't say sorry on that point. Pero if it's, ano, if it's intentional, syempre, you have to say sorry. Uh -oh. <laughs> accident, that, ay, ayun nga, now that you mentioned, nako, madaladala ko ngayon. Um... <laughs> Sa Pilipinas kasi, di ba when you, when you bump into someone or greeting pa lang, yun do yung mga, yung mga, yung sa kilay mo, yung parang, yun yun, di ba? Oo, tama. Tama, tama. Pero sa Korea, hindi eh. Hindi. Oo. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. So, I think that's the difference. Um, more like, Filipinos are more approachable. Uh, okay. So, yun. So, Korea, if you bump into someone else and hindi sila nag-sorry or hindi ka nag-sorry, it's 
quite normal lang. And here in the Philippines, sometimes you have to say sorry because um, I think medyo ano din sensitive ng konte ang Filipinos. Ah, kundi, mm-hmm. kundi, but ay na Korean pa. Kundi, Koreans are also very sensitive. As you, oh, okay. Di ba? Mas sensitive ata ng mga Korean. So, if you say sorry, they appreciate more your apology. Ah. Uh, ah, okay. Ah, kurone. Ah, hindi ako Koreano. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're talking about strangers na rin naman, di ba? So, let's talk about yung asking help from strangers. Kasi nung nandun ako sa Korea, parang whenever you ask for directions, some Koreans would really help you go to the place you're going to. Hindi yung parang, dito kasi sa Philippines, when you're asking for the directions, parang, wait, dun lang, malapit lang yan, dun lang, uh, kanan ka lang, yun na yun. <laughs> Tapos minsan yung malapit nila, parang, kailangan mo pa yata magsasakyan. Oo <laughs> nga, <laughs> oh, no? So, yun, nakita ko yung difference na parang, when you approach someone in Korea, they would really go out of their way and help you. Kundi, or it's ko. not always. But that one also case by case, eh, oh. mm-hmm. so, Because not everyone would would go out of their way and then help you, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. I think I think I can categorize Koreans as first. If they don't help, hindi sila marunong mag English. Uh-huh. True. Uh-huh. <laughs> Nahiya. <laughs> Number two, so parang busy, busy. Number three, may mga tao talaga na wala talaga silang pake, uh-huh. diba? I think. Uh-huh. Uh, Yun yung difference. Pero sa Philippines, my experience is, when I ask for ways, kasi marunong din sila mag-English, they're so mm-hmm. friendly. When I say, ah, kuya, saan yung uh, mega mall? Ay, mega mall. Ay, wait lang, ah. Uh, diretso ka. No, straight, and turn right. Akala ko naman, ways yung ano niya, yung pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> turn right. Uh, bandang dulo. Uh, nandiyan ang mega mall. Ganun sila. So, uh, ganun pa rin. Mas friendly pa rin ang mga Pilipino. Pero na-experience mo na yung sinabi sa'yo na malapit lang yan dyan. Ganun. Uh, <laughs> Pero ang layo ko pala. Uh, on the way to Tagaytay, may tindahan doon na mga prutas. Mm. Di ba? I would ask them, ay kuya, saan yung, uh, let's say, bag of beans? Ay kuya, saan yung bag of beans? Ay! Dapit lang yan. Uh, doon lang sa may ano, sa may kanto. Ah, uh, sabi ko, ah, malapit. Al- alam ko. Tapos <laughs> yung kanto pala, nasa ibang bayan na. <laughs> Yun nga eh. <laughs> so I think, ano, dito sa asking help from strangers, it really depends pa rin no, on the person that you're gonna bump into. Yes, pero generally, entertaining ang mga Pilipino at saka friendly sila. Yes. I'm so thankful na gano'n yung experience. So. <laughs> Buti nga eh. So, ano, ano, experience ko sa Korea, yun nga, uh, it's either they're gonna help you go to the place or they know how to speak English and talk to you talaga on how mm-hmm. to go there. I think so, it's, uh, it really Korea is changing because of, uh, in 21st century, people are changing, mm-hmm. many people went abroad to study, kaya uh, it's hard for me to say na ganito ang characteristic ng Korean. In and that, I think, ano, uh, mas ano na ba? Mas use na ba yung English in universities now in Korea? Uh, based mm. from my friend's experience, parang um, they put English and Korean same level of importance. Ah, okay. Uh, Kasi na- napansin ko na yung elders would usually, ano, they don't know how to speak English. Hmm. And yung sa mga, ano na, mga generation natin, ganun, mostly knows how. And so, parang nag, may transition na din, di ba? So, now we talk about, ano, yung strangers and asking for directions. And now naman, let's talk about transportation. Ay, go, transportation na. Ah. <laughs> Bakit? Ba't ganyan yung reaction? <laughs> ah. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you guys, uh, mga fans at viewers ni Therese, ang uh, gusto ko sabihin ay, sa Pilipinas, kailangan-kailangan talaga ng kotse. <laughs> eh, isa pa, meron pang isa. Ano pa? Kailangan na kailangan din ng patience. Ah, <laughs> patience, oh my God. <laughs> kailangan mo ng pinakamaraming patience sa buong mundo. Dahil, sa Kung uh, compare ko sa Korea, public transportation is very developed here. Yeah. Sa Korea ka, I think one of the best public transportation. Mm-hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. Oh, what what was your experience with public transportation? Napansin ko parang ano, kasi ako medyo, ako yung taong laging late. Ah. <laughs> pag dito sa Pilipinas, pag sinabi kong 
nandiyan ako ng 30 minutes, baka 1 hour and 30 minutes pa yun. Yeah. <laughs> Pero pag sa Korea, pag sinabi kong, I'm gonna be there in this, ano, yung 30 minutes, gano'n, 30 minutes lang talaga. As in, kalkulado ko siya when I'm in Korea. Dahil nga, there are apps pa, di ba, where you can mm. see the estimated time where you will arrive the other station, gano'n. So, hindi, lang lang yung... sa, hindi lang sa subway yun. Sa bus, sa taxi, oh, yeah. sa train, they have estimated time. Yes, and what I like, yung card, di ba, you can use it in the subway and in the bus. So, you okay. don't need anything else. So, kung wala kang cash, may cash naman yung card mo. It's really Ang tinatawag doon ay? Tea money? Tea money. Good job. Good job. <laughs> and here sa Philippines, meron naman dip card. Pero ah. kasi, you can just use that in LRT, di ba? Or MRT. Uh, actually, <laughs> pwede lahat. Hindi. Uh, mm-hmm. Kasi I also took public transportation dahil sa traffic. No? Beep card, LRT, MRT, and pwede sa po- P2P bus. P2P oh, pwede. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Pero kung punta ka na sa taxi, ganun, wala na. Oh. Wala na, wala na. Pati rin yung ano eh, taxi, they need to accept credit card or debit card. Yeah. Because sa uh, Korea, mm-hmm. T-Money, T-Money man, everything okay. Tsaka ano, pag nakalimutan ko yung wallet ko, pag meron ako ng card, parang, Okay, I'm gonna survive the day. Bajayo. <laughs> Animan, Animan, you can have the card in your phone, di ba? Yeah, yeah. You can put it in the chair. And there, speaking of paying, di ba? Mm-hmm. Sa restaurants ba, how do you pay in restaurants in Korea? Ah, uh, syempre, alam, uh, syempre, alam mo yung, ano, yung style natin sa Korea. Uh-huh. Pero, just to uh, um, reiterate lang, we don't have, um, k- we pay upon exit, most likely. Ah, uh-huh. Diba? Mm-hmm. Kunde, Filipino, uh, we ask for the waiter and then get the the bill, diba? Mm-hmm. Ika, if, you know diba? how na? Ah, oh, of course, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, Paano? <laughs> Kuya, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan. What's your experience when you first experienced that? Ah, nahiya ako. Nahiya, as in, very much embarrassed. Dahil, pumunta talaga ako doon sa manager. Uh-huh. I went there and then I asked for, uh, Miss, uh, I want to pay. And then she said, Ah, it's okay, sir. So wait for us in the seat. But that's it. There are people in the seat. There are people in the seat. There are people in the seat. So we had no choice but to pay there. But that's how I uh, adjusted. Na, ah, that's the same system. Westernized. I was in Korea. Parang I kept observing other people on what they were doing. Ah. So, bago ako umalis, tinignan ko, paano ba nagbabayad dito? <laughs> so, hindi ako napahiya, pero internally, parang, ay, nakakahiya ng ginagawa ko, tinitignan ko lang lahat. <laughs> pero, uh, what's the difference you see? Same same difference ba with what I said? Ah, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yun. Oo, yung, you have to pay after eating, pero you have to go in the cashier. Yes. Pero here in the Philippines, ganun lang. Kuya, uh, diba? Ay, bastos naman nun. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, masyadong komportable yun nasa okay. Pilipinas. <laughs> Tapos ano din, yung pag-order ba may difference? Pag-order? Oh, I've never thought about it. Let me see. Ano ba? Like, ano do ba you yung call, system? how do you call the waiter? Ganun. Same ah. naman. Well, We raise our hands and... Pero, lalo kasi may bell tayo sa restaurants. Ah, yeah. We mostly have bells. So, we don't mm-hmm. have to... We just say like, Ah, oh. ate! Excuse me! Hello! Kami ka pa marinig! Oy, ate! Bastos naman ang itong ate na to, ho! Oh. Bakit tayo bumalik na to? So, we talk about yung restaurant practices. Now, let's talk about house yung practices natin sa house. Uh, so, okay. if you think of the different practices sa house, ano yung unang nasa mind mo? Na so may ko? different? Uh, hmm. First is sapatos. Ayun, yun din. Kahit ako yun din. <laughs> sapatos. Oo. Ano diba? meron sa sapatos? Kasi, uh, it has different myths and it has different beliefs. Uh, pero mm-hmm. as far as I know, parang may disrespect kung susuotin mo pa ng sapato sa sa loob ng bahay. Ah, okay. Uh, Kriko, madumi eh. We bring the germs from outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, we want to keep our clean house. Kaya, Japanese style. Similar to Japanese. Mm-hmm. Dito sa Philippines, I think there are some houses who practice that. 
Mm-hmm. Pero we don't really, it's not a must. Diba sa Korea, parang it's a must na. na Everywhere. Yung mga house mo, design sila na before you enter, there's a spot where you put the shoes. Cool. I don't know how you call it. Foyer. I think it's a foyer. Foyer, foyer yeah. Foyer, yeah. We, we say, Hyunkwan. Hyunkwan mo. How hyunkwan mo? Hyunkwan. Han? Hyun. Hyun. Yeah. Hyun. Hyun. I whisper challenge with them. Hyun. Kwan. Hyun. Wan. Hyunkwan. Well, you get what you mean, We put the shoes and the, as in, we put our shoes and then we go inside the the house. I think we don't do that in other countries, no? Yeah, yeah. Right? Diba? So, that's why I'm super particular about it. That's why I'm so excited about it now. Because, as in, we don't have space for shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so we But need our own. But you still practice it now. Yeah, so, yeah, I still practice. practice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, dito din naman, I think in our house, we practice it also. Kasi dito sa Philippines, may mga kasabihan yung mga matatanda na kailangan mo magsuot daw yung chineras kasi puputok daw yung veins mo. Ah. Sa baan. <laughs> so, yun. There are some na particular pa rin about it na wear your slippers kasi puputok yung ugat mo niyan. Ganun. So, ah. ganun na. Pero it's not really a must. And I think not everyone does that. Yeah, kuriku. When you're on, I went to um Porak Pampanga for ano ba to? Kasi mabait na tao ako. Um, I went for <laughs> <Wait, volunteer. laughs> I went there for research sa um voluntary work. Sabi mm-hmm. nila yung mga Aita community. Oh yeah. Aita community. They don't wear shoes dahil para malapit ka sa nature. Oh yeah. Oh. Madami silang practices ka na and, and beliefs na iba. Oh. Yeah. Because I was so very surprised. Pero, ah, may ganong community din pala sa Pinas. And it's really nice kasi super, makikita mo yung difference talaga, no, na there is a meaning between something sa ibang bansa hmm. na dito naman sa bansa na to. Iba. Oh. Iba, oh. What else do we practice in Philippines and in Korea na iba with the topic na respect? So, first thing first is chundemar and pammar. Oh, what's this? Chundemar is parang po. In Tagalog, opo. Oh, yeah. Then, mm-hmm. In Korean, we say blah blah blah, imnita or yo, mm-hmm. uh, ta, yo. Magano, chundem mar. Oh, okay. So that's like the ano no formal and informal language. Formal and informal. Because yeah, diba, um, it's hard to learn Korean, guys, because mm-hmm. of chundem mar and pam mar. Yes, I agree. Super. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, ako nun, diba? There are so much things in YouTube na you can learn na what words do you need if you're a tourist, ganun. So, yes, kahit yes. i-memorize mo yun, parang may times na mali pala yung ginagamit mong way of speaking. So, parang disrespectful na din. So, you really have to be cautious dahil nga dun sa John Demal and Pammal. Madayo. Diba? Well, namin, I have this experience. May Pilipino ako na kaibig- kaibigan na Pilipino. He went to Korea. Mm-hmm. Siyempre, kaibigan tayo. So, I taught him pammal. Ige boya, ige odieyo, uh, ige odia, mga ganitong pammal. And then, uh-huh. itong kaibigan na to, he asked a police, police officer, uh, ige boya? Sabi ko, <laughs> tapos yung kwento niya is parang nagulat daw ng police officer na offend ata dahil sa pammal. Oh, so, okay. So, ganun sila ka-particular na mga offend minsan. Yes, yes. It, It mm-hmm. brings up misunderstanding. I think and uh, that shows then na uh, super ano nyo, super particular nyo with respect for yeah. elders. Yeah. Kasi dito I think super particular sa mga elders as in if you're a uh, tita or your lolo lola ganun. Pero if sa inyo kasi parang 'di ba, you're particular with the year of birth. Ah. So kung mas kung mas matanda siya sa iyo ng konti, dapat formal language na kagad yung gamit. Yes. Unless you're But diba? it's also changing. Eh. It's the the culture is changing. There are older people who would say to younger people, "Na, ah, it's okay. You use pamal to me. It's okay." But mm-hmm. there are older people, na, no, you should just chun them mal. So there, it's different from people to people. But yeah. it's always nice. I think nice. you adapt na din kayo sa Western culture. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And dito sa Philippines, uh, we just use opo and po. Pag elder talaga, elder D talaga. Hindi yung kuya mo lang, gano'n. Well, But we also use yung kuya, ate, like in your country, di ba? Meron din kayo. Kuya yan, like, kuya yan, ate? Yeah. Opa? Mm-hmm. And, opa, I think on- for us, Muni and Opa. 
Kucho, lambda for guys, we say hyong or duna. And then Nona. for female, opa or onni. Ayan. So it's really the same din naman. Now we both have ways on how to respect elderly. But Pero mas particular kayo, I think. Yeah, you just have different levels of respect. Sa Tagalog yeah. kasi, um, we just use po or opo. Pero sa Korean, Nomo the respect is very important here. Yeah. Uh-huh, yes. Okay. So if they're going to Korea, they have to take note of how to really talk to people with respect. And now let's talk about your different expressions. Dito kasi sa Philippines parang yung expressions namin sing kalutungan lang ng words. Kalutungan ng words. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm, na parang mas mas aggressive lang yung pagkasabi, you know? Yo, mas tense lang yung pagkasabi. Onomatopoeia nyo is very strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, super. <laughs> and sa inyo, I think you use different sounds to express some different feelings, you know? Yes, um, sa ano pa lang, no? Um, let's say, kubura, uh, ji? Even though you say, kamsa it's a word of thanks, di ba? But it can be sarcasm also. Eh, kamsa, How? Uh, How would you do it? Thank you. You get, you get uh, different okay. meaning there. I think you're more into the sounds. Tapos kami, we're more into the... Makikita mo din kasi sa Filipinos, pag may expression sila, sa mukha. We use so much of our facial features. That's why Koreans think I'm a foreigner when I go to Korea. Why? Kasi, even though I speak in Korean, ang lalim ng expression ko sa mukha ko eh. <laughs> Yeah. Siguro Filipino ka na talaga. Pusong Pinoy <laughs> nga ako eh. With Filipino uh, uh, na uh, makakuraj. Even though they want to say very much, they would say, grabe, grabe. Yung ganito. <laughs> Tapos may mukha, may ano, no? may mata pa eh. Oh, grabe uh, naman. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yung mga gano'n. So, now let's talk about ano naman, the fashion. Fashion. Dahil lagi akong pupunta sa Fashion Week sa Seoul. Nakita ko din ang fashion show mo. Yung video yes. mo. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, what did you notice about the fashion in Korea at fashion dito? Kasi dito sa Philippines, Filipinos love Korean fashion. As in, di ba pag may sellers online, nakalagay K-fashion. Mm, okay, let me ask you. Dahil Filipino ka, ano, okay. ang, <laughs> ano ang kahulugan ng K-fashion? Um... I think if magsasalita ako as someone na walang alam sa fashion, sasabihin ko, K-fashion is what K-pop idols wear. <laughs> ah! Mm-hmm. Ah! Ako din. Pero what I noticed, what I noticed nung nag-attend ako ng mga ano, parang ang K-fashion, it's ex- experimental. Experimental? Na, na they could mix different colors na pagdating dito sa Pilipinas at sinuot mo yung colors sa him, parang, Wow, shocking naman si Ate Girl, gano'n. <laughs> Pero pagkadating doon, parang it's okay dahil people are experimental. But at yeah. the same time, I think they are very conservative. Well, conservative kami in a way na we, there are norms to follow. Mm-hmm. Pero within that norm, we try to experiment. Kaya um, si G-Dragon, one of the best trendsetter ng Korean fashion, di ba? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> He he goes overboard, pero still following the norm of Korean mm. culture, de ba? Mm-hmm. he takes he takes in con- into consideration na Asian siya, yung body mm-hmm. type niya Asian, de ba? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Kasi halos lahat, I would say ah, Koreans are very slim type of body. I think norms talaga is important sa inyo. And here yes. in the Philippines, we're very westernized na. Eh. Yeah, k- I, kreso, I was very shocked with um my Filipino female friends. Why? K- wait, 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 wait. Uh, I'm 80, I'm I'm an adult na ha. Okay, hindi ako. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Pero um very yeah, uh, I don't know if it's because tropical country ng Pilipinas. Pero mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gets ko na yan. <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm blushing now. <laughs> Wait, <yeah. No. laughs> because Ayon, ko- I think Korea, we're very westernized. Conservative on the money. Philippines, um, US, Western countries, ex- they like to expose. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Parang mainit everywhere eh. Parang kailangan yeah, kita yeah. lahat. <laughs> I'm not saying anything na pangit siya or whatever. Pero yeah, yeah. it's just my observation na, ah, it's hot. So they would... Yeah, we it. just have to point out na parang westernized na talaga um, yung yeah. fashion ng Philippines. Yeah. That's why I think there are some people who tries to copy K-pop fashion. But they couldn't get it kasi hindi nila mag-get yung norms na dapat pa rin ino-observe kahit gusto mong mag this way. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Krigo, as you can see, uh, yung mga outfit nila sa K-pop, mm-hmm. they don't wear it on the street. Di ba? Yeah. Have you, have you uh, seen, uh, have you seen mak, mak girl idols wearing that outside of the... Saka I, I observe, di ba, sa so mga shows na whenever uh, an idol wears something short, they would really cover it. Baza, diba? oh. Hey, hey. And dito parang, it's normal. It's normal. Pero, recently, hmm. I think they also changed the the thinking. Oh, uh, they oh okay. They blankets. Uh, I think tonight with Boya Bunda, I think they give blankets also. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's mm-hmm. nice. I didn't know that. That's nice na medyo nag-transition na tayo to be yeah. more conservative. As a fashionista, <laughs> what do you think is the fashion of Philippines? Uh, Actually, ang tagal nang may nagtatanong sa akin nito. And what I say is that masyado kami mix of different cultures pagdating sa clothes. So, there, when I was preparing for Soul Fashion Week, it was really so hard for me to look for something made in the Philippines ah. that would fit in Korea. Kasi parang, if I think about what is something unique na piece from the Philippines, I would think it's a barong. Barong, eh. But it's not for modern, di ba? Eh, good kinajo. It's traditional. Mm. So, so, pag nag, naghanap ako ng iba, parang yung ibang pieces from the Philippines are from Western countries na. So, mm. there's nothing na sa amin. It's a mix of culture. Mm. Yung fashion ng Philippines. Ah, uh, gets, gets, gets. Yun din ang ano ko eh, observe ko na parang barong. Ku, bura ko rojo? Ku, ku, weave. That style, mm-hmm. yeah. I think yeah. that that rep- symbolizes Philippines. Pero it's a long way to go. Yeah, a long way yeah. to go to look for something that's us talaga. Yeah. And mix it with the modern trends. Good job. Eh. And uh, we have little left na lang. <laughs> Let's uh, run through this. Next natin is food differences. Ah, what food differences. have you observed? Yeah. Uh, hindi ko kaya kainin ng Filipino food every day. Why? Ah, uh, I can feel oil go- going inside my body. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yun din yung observation ko actually. Yung food ng Korean, it's really healthy. Yeah, it's healthy in a way na we don't eat fried that much. Mm-hmm. You always and here, you eat fried every day. Kuro ikaw. Bak bo, crispy pata. Crispy siya dahil, ma- dahil nag-fry. Kuro ikaw. Uh-uh. Bo, yung doon sa Bicol Express to fry dike ko. Sisig to fry ko ko. Bo, mm-hmm. what's that? In Korea, nun, mostly steam. steam and ako. you have things na lalagyan lang ng mga powders and everything. Kurocho. And you eat fresh things. Oh, fresh, kurocho. Vegetable to fresh yeah. ako. Mm-hmm. Eh? You can already see sa kimchi. When I'm in. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. lettuce. The e- difference ka, it made me have... um. Sorry sa mga kumakain ngayon, pero it made me have diarrhea. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and now ba? Are you still cooking Korean food in your house? Uh, yes. I still eat Korean food. And uh, minsan lang ako mag-Filipino food. So, yun. Sa food, I think Filipinos should work on being more healthy <laughs> sa food. <laughs> pero recently, recently, I think they're adopting uh, Japanese way of cooking. To Filipino foods. Hmm? Yeah. Um, kasi, ngayon kasi may pandemic so I think people are trying different kinds of foods. Yes. Lahat chef na. <laughs> oh, lahat kami chef na. <laughs> so, um, Filipino food, ka, yes, it's oily. It's it's mostly fried. That's something mm-hmm. true. But it also has its nutritional benefits also. Because we're mm-hmm. in a hot country. So, we need a lot of chigiba. Yeah, and I think sa inyo din ba, you eat a lot of rice? Rice. Here, everything goes with rice. Ah, <laughs> uninan. Uh, Koreans naman, there are um, three things we cannot live without. Uh, first is gochujang. Mm-hmm, gochujang, yeah. Number two is garlic. Oh, really? Garlic. garlic. 
And but I think you use the garlic powder. Ay, we use garlic in different ways. Even though we eat samgyupsa, we eat garlic. Oh, yeah. yeah. Even though we cook, uh, let's say, posam or chokpa, we use garlic. Uh, ano pa ba? Ako chef na ako. Uh, <laughs> kahit kimchi. Kimchi has garlic in it also. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. yeah. Everything has garlic in Korean food. And what's the third one? Third one, rice. Rice. So, <laughs> I think here in the Philippines, same rice. Rice right. is the because all ulam namin it's best with rice. Yes, yes, yes. You, because it's salty and oily, so you need something else. <laughs> oh, th- there is also another thing that Filipinos can live without. What? Gravy. Oh yeah, actually, hindi lang gravy. <laughs> ano sauce? Any sauce? Any sauce? How's that one? Yeah, we we eat everything with something else. Neva. <laughs> mo. <laughs> 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 Kriyo. Mm-hmm. Philippine culture. There's one Philippine culture that I really got interested in. What? Kamayan. Oh, yeah. Kamayan. Because first, uh, I'm sorry if this will offend um, some Filipinos, but I thought it was very uh, unhygienic. To use I think we get, we get that impression with different cultures na parang, why are they using their hands? Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I tried it. I tried it. Kamayan. Mm-hmm. It's different. Ah, it's different. <laughs> Yeah. But do you know that when we use our hands in eating, there's proper way of pushing the food out? Ah, uh, how? How? Yeah, akala ko, you, akala you ganun have, lang. No, you have to get the rice <laughs> and then you push it with your thumb. So it's really, it's really an art then. Dapat may content ka para ano, how to properly kamaya. How to use your hands in eating. Ah, ah, sige, gawin natin yan. Uh, oh, now, no, I know we're talking about food, Naren. How about drinking culture? I think you have so much things to say. So, drinking uh, culture. Drinking culture. Uh, mm-hmm. Wait, there are two different situations because it's a drinking culture. With friends or with uh, elders or such a Ah, okay. Korea, uh, uh, we have different stages because it's a drinking. Uh, first mm-hmm. stage, we have to busog na tayo. Lahat. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, eating ako, just the light drinking, like soju or light mm-hmm. beer. Is the second stage stage that everyone uh, goes to legit, a legitimate drinking culture. Like uh, we do somek, soju, somekju. So, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, well, we also drink mix um, soju with ice cream or yakult. Uh-huh. Drinking culture ka, in Korea, it's very hard to explain in words. I think we should have inuman na lang next time. Oh, sige. Inuman session. Yeah. <laughs> Pero I think, ano, whenever you drink, diba, there is respect then to elders na dapat you don't face them. Um, there are two things, or maybe three things. First is um, when we do chan. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Chan. Yeah, cheers. We don't mm-hmm. ask to cheers to elders first. Dapat yung elders mo na mag uh, offer ng cheers. Mm. Yeah. So and, I think may ano din yun, may connect din yun dun sa you really have respect for them. Yeah. Parang, uh, and then second is the hand gesture. Oh, there's a hand gesture. There's a hand gesture when you're okay. when you're doing. Uh, Ayan tutorial mo naman to. <laughs> uh-uh. what, what's that in Tagalog? Cheers. Cheers in Tagalog. Cheers in Tagalog. Wait. Tagay, tagay, tagay. Tagay, oh, tagay. <laughs> Pero we usually use cheers na. Ah, ah, Hindi talaga. na tagay. Uh-uh. Provinciano pala ako. <laughs> uh, pag nag-cheers ka. We put our hand, other hand, dito sa arm. Okay? Dito. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, we, we do chan like that. Oh, it's okay. like we're saying, we're serving you or we respect you. Parang ganun yung meaning behind it. So, you don't just do like, ako man, ako man, tanggal trabaho. Tanggal talaga. Tanggal talaga. You have to be respectful. Like, or if you don't get the gesture, just hold the bottle with two hands. Okay. Hmm. okay. So, so, take note ha, pag uminom kayo sa korega. <laughs> when a person is also uh, pouring a drink for you, mm-hmm. also two hands. Always two hands. Okay, go. Last two one is never face your elders while drinking. Okay, so? Let's say ikaw yung elder ko. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Side. Okay. 
Oh, okay. May reason ba behind that? Uh, we're drinking, di ba? Mm-mm. You have to hide from your elders kasi they might think, ah, bata pa kayo tapos you're drinking in front of me. Parang kala mo uh, friends lang tayo. Friends lang tayo. <laughs> so, uh-huh. we have to show na, ah, um, excuse me, I will drink muna. Uh, and then you, oh. and then put back That's the, nice. Ang dami nyo pa rin observe when you're drinking and here, parang, yeah, party la. <laughs> Ay, yung last natin na pag-uusapan is we talk about manners when you're drinking. How about your table manners when you're eating? Do you ah. eat lang agad, ganun? Or... Ah, ni Jo. Um, that's a great point, no? Um, we don't, mm-hmm. we never get the utensils or we never eat before the elders eat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Kahit get lang? Hindi? Kahit get lang. Ah, man, mm-hmm. um, parang it's some... It's a sign of disrespect if you get food and then eat right away. Oh, okay, so if you're the bunso of the family, you really have to wait for everyone to eat? Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kunde, kunde. There are exceptions naman. Mm-hmm. There are exceptions. There okay. are times na parang the elders would say, ay, hindi pa ako gutom. So, kain mo na kayo. That, that's okay. Pero uh, like, hoy, kain na tayo. Hoy. And nandyan yung, ano, yung, mga, yung mga boss mo. Uh-huh. Elders. So, like, ay, kain na tayo. Ah, let's eat, let's eat. Woman. Sa tanggal trabaho. Pero dito sa Philippines, what have you observed? Ah, what have I observed? Uh, walang ganun eh. Um, we're all friends. Yeah, we're all friends. Yeah. Uh-uh. Tsaka I think, ano, minsan niya, mas una pa yung bunso. Kasi they really take care of the bunso. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ige, opposition ka ba? Opposition. Mm-hmm. Because Pilipino, mm-hmm. di ba, pambansang bunso ako. Kaya bunso ako sa mga. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's say there are some nunas that I know. They would say, uh-huh. "Ay, kumain, kahit ka mo na. Ah, you need to eat first." Oh, oh, okay, na. okay. Ah, good mo naman. Sige na, okay na. Sige, kain ka na. <laughs> Pero sa Korea, ah, bunso ka naman eh. Sige, wait lang ah. Let's wait for the elders to eat muna. Sige, <laughs> kahit get... gutom ka na. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Super different, no? Yeah. And I think different din yung ano, way of eating. Sa inyo kasi when you like something, 'di ba? you really express it to the sound. Ah, I didn't know about that. I don't know, ha? Observation ko lang. Kasi dito sa Philippines, parang tahimik kaming kumain. Ah, talaga? Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's just in our province. Ano Pero I think it's the practice of elders na dapat tahimik mag-eat. In Korea also, not everyone eats like those ASMR people. It's disrespectful if you make sound when you chew. When you eat like, oh, let's say, uh, you know, man, uh, everyone gets mad at you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the same. I, I thought hindi siya same. Kasi, di ba meron kayong way of eating the ramen? Ah, ramen. That's different. Yeah, you have to slurp talaga. That's different. But noodles. I think kasi dito sa Philippines, even when eating noodles, you have to be quiet. Ah. One of the best ways to eat, you know, noodles, ramen, is to make mm-hmm. this. This is sounds yeah. very important. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I noticed nga sa inyo. And if you're a Filipino who's, who has been practicing na dapat quiet lang, it's mm-hmm. really hard to do it. Kunde, <laughs> in Korea, we express more. Uh, let's say we eat something very delicious. Of course, we eat it very quietly. And after that, we say like, Wow! 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 So nice. Wow! Wow! Kaya cool. Kekul yeah, yeah. This one. So uh, I think this goes with yung sa expressions nyo. You express so much with sound. Yeah. Ayan. So, ang dami natin na pag-usapan. I think we exceeded what we really planned. <laughs> and, uh, how will we end this video? I think we have to remind them about something. Ah, uh, Kurcho. We have a little surprise for you guys. All of you. No? Uh, yes. Mas lalo pong... Uh, K-pop or K-drama or how you fan kayo, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, do you want to explain? Okay, so I, as, as I have told you a while ago, we're doing a K-pop giveaway and what you need to do in this video, I think Kyungmin has a different instruction, so you watch our video in his YouTube channel. But in here, in my channel, all you have to do is comment down below if you have anything else to add in this video. Any more observation or more things that you're interested with to know. You know, mo meron kami part 2 ni Kyungmin. Oh, yes. 
Ah, uh, So, yun. Um, all you have to do is like this video, click the subscribe button, and comment down below what else do you want to add up in this video. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you so much, Kyung Min. Super oh, enjoyed the Pentuhan. Yeah, it really was uh, like Korean Tuhan na din. <laughs> oh, my. Akala ko lang sa Korean Tuhan ako. Eh. <laughs> uh, so, yun. Manood din kayo ng Facebook Live ni Kyung Min. Super oh. enjoy. Madami siyang mga noon na Uni. Ano no no? Cupid din kayo, I call my Oh, okay nga. Cupid nga pala. Uh -huh. Ako, isa na akong Cupid. Ah! <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.